Hey guys, and welcome back to the Sly Cooper Collection for PlayStation 3. The last episode featuring our Sly 2 Banner Thieves. Yeah, we got two of the three games done of the collection. I mean, we still got Sly 4 to do if we want to do Sly 4, but... I mean, I, I'll, I think I'm going to start this set new episode off at Sly 3 and just start the new game. Shall we? Roger Bentley, I'm starting my approach. Getting over these fortress walls shouldn't be a problem. Look, we're running five by five here. Make sure everyone's in sync. I hear that. Artillery, sure you can make that shot? I endeavor not to miss. Excellent. Radio control. In position. Recovery team. Our pump. Submersibles. Showtime, baby. Telekinetics. I gotta die. Alright, it's the crime of the century and the ball's in motion. But man, that's an interesting start to a game. You see all these characters that you never even played as in the previous games? Or you hear, like, like, who's all these and stuff? Or you recognize some of these characters from past games, like... Wait, is that who I think it is? And, like, it's really interesting. Just imagine playing this game for the very first time. Like, just seeing that. And, so, and also what's interesting is, this is actually near, actually this is technically near the end of the game, technically. The ball has stopped rolling. We've got an obstruction. I'm But it is funny, interesting. But yeah, I just love how like this game just basically takes place. Like... At the very end of Slime 3, basically. I mean, basically, you have this part of the prologue, which is near the end, the last day we're in the game. But then it has a whole flashback and everything. Oh, the rest of the game is like a whole flashback. Which is actually it's after, still after Slime 2. still after Slime 2 by quite a bit. Because there's even stuff happening after Slime 2, which shows up in a cutscene. And then they're in this game. And then you do play as a flashback after that. But still before this part. It's really interesting how they did that. Like, it's really interesting how they did that. Like, it's not really a prequel, it's still a sequel, but like, it's, it's, it's like, it's like, most of the game is actually before this section of the game. It's, it's, it's really interesting how they do it. Like, that's one thing I love about games, just, this Slide 3 is so different, like, it's different. I love how each game is different now. I mean, it's a lot like Flight 2, but... Ball requesting door via Agent Monarch, over. Launching. But yeah, this game, this. Oh. But yeah, this game, this game is a lot like uh, Slide Two. Actually, it's mostly like Slide Two than Kingdom Slide One, but uh, it still executes quite a bit differently. They do they, they, they do interrupt me a lot. Like it's kind of annoying that how often they interrupt you. I mean, it's the beginning of the game, so I mean, it makes sense why they interrupt you so much. But one thing that's gonna miss about this game is there's no clues, though. Like, that's the thing, it's like, there's no- Also! I'll speak on- Hold on, wait, I'll tell you what, watch, look, 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 there's this guy over here that's just helping us. Wait, ow! Where did- yeah, there he is. Look, look, this guy's just random guys helping us. Who is he? I'm sorry, I know- I know- I already know who he is. Uh, there's Dr. M down there, though. With his guard. Friend. That he kills, basically. Man, your son, uh, what's his name? Mike? Mark, sir. He, he's well, too, yeah? I love this quiet watch. Let me quiet for a minute. <laughs> Shame you won't be seeing them again. Ah, uh, sir? Afraid I poisoned your drink at lunch. Sorry, Richards, but I don't tolerate poor performance. You should have changed the security code from one, two, three after you installed the new system. I'll improve. I swear. No, you'll die any second now. Oh. Oh jeez, Dr. M is just so cool! Yes, water leaking into the lab. I'm on my way down. Oh, and get a janitor for the lab elevator. Richard's got sloppy. God, that, that guy is just a dick. He really is. Like, I know I'm, I know I'm saying that, but he, he really is. Like, he, like he, not, he might not be Gino Sal, but he's still a dick. 
<laughs> like, I know my language there, but, you know, I don't care. Like, that, he, I mean, he's a villain, makes sense, but... He's basically like the big bad guy in this area, sort of, in this game. You know he only appears at, like, beginning and then the end of the game, but, you know, still the big bad guy in this game. I mean, he was friends with a uh, Sly's father, who kind of became a villain later on, though. I guess. <laughs> I find which is finding interesting. He's basically, he's basically the Bentley, but still like not good, not as good as uh, Bentley because you know Bentley is friendship. It's more of a friendship and a childhood. While like I think Doctor M really didn't really have a childhood with Sly's father. I think that's kind of the plot line. I mean, they tell explain more. They definitely explain more in Sly Three uh, with with Doctor M and stuff. But yeah, this is Cooper Bull. Cooper, you must be Sly Cooper. The new keeper of the cane. Oh, how I long for this. This vault belongs to the Cooper family. You're trespassing. No, my naive boy, you're trespassing. I've gone deep to this island. This fortress is mine. Everything here is mine. Which now brings the key to the vault. Hand over the cane. Sorry, pal. Family heirloom. Buy a knockoff at the gift shop. Wait, let's regroup with the others. Follow yeah, Bentley's quite a bit different, you can see. Uh, yeah, I start to end, basically. Basically, this is his fortress. And everything, I mean, it'll play in the cutscene coming up, but uh, basically this is his fortress. And everything that he built, trying to get in the to get in the club of Volt that we have, that, you know, that our ancestors kind of gave us. So today, it's really us, but I mean, t it's, it's his fortress. But, like, he's basically stealing from us. So we're trying to steal back from him. Like, I mean, like I said, Sly only steals from other thieves, and you know, basically, basically, it's always, a lot of times we just steal from back from what was what wife play ours, basically. I mean, it's still stealing, but I mean, is it really if you're like you know stealing it back? <laughs> I mean, it makes sense why they're good guys. Look at that thing! There's no escape, Kuba. Oh yeah. I can't believe it's actually been quite a while. It hasn't been quite a while since I did Sly Out 3 on my channel. Because I only did Sly 3 once on my channel, though. So, so yeah, this is actually the first time in a while since we've even played uh, Sly 3 on the channel. Uh, I know, I, like I said, I know I just finished Sly 2. Sly 1 we did a few times on myself. But this is only the second time i played this on my channel, so. But anyway. Eat this. Eat this. But anyway, anyway, I'm gonna be back after the cutscene's over with. So, uh, be right back in a little bit after the cutscene. So, I'll be quiet. Sly, no! Hold on, Sly! Hold on! It was like they always say. Your life really does flash before your eyes. There it all was, stretching back to my childhood. Born into a family of master thieves that went back for generations, I was next in line to continue the Cooper name. But fate had different plans. I was robbed of my childhood when a ruthless gang attacked our home. The orphanage I landed in wasn't all bad. It was there that I met my lifelong friends. Bentley, he's always been the thinker. And Murray, he's the doer. We'd stuck together over the years, and our skill, our confidence, and our thieving reputation grew stronger with each heist. We thought that the good times would never end, and that our luck would never run out. Which only made things tougher when the odds finally caught up with us. Then I met this guy, McSweeney, who claimed to have run with my father's crew back in their heyday. They pulled jobs all over the world and amassed quite a collection of priceless items. It was then that McSweeney told me all about the Cooper Vault. It seemed that my father, like all my ancestors, had been hiding their wealth in a secret place for generations, each one adding to the treasure hidden behind a door 
that if McSweeney's story is true, only a Cooper can open. Using some well-placed clues provided by McSweeney, we set out for the secret island that held the vault. On arriving, we discovered someone by the name of Dr. M had already set up shop. From the looks of it, he'd been trying to crack the thing for years, growing steadily more frustrated in his failures and more paranoid as the decades rolled by. He built himself a fortress with security as tight as Fort Knox. Getting inside the place would take precision, creativity, and moreover, it would take an army of world-class thieves. Finding and bringing together that much talent won't be easy, but to get inside the Cooper vault and collect my inheritance, I was willing to pay the price. Sly 3, Honor Among Thieves. Man, this game's great. Like, I love, I just love this. I think Sly 3 might have, the start of Sly 3 is great. I mean, I'll start all three games are great, but Sly 3 especially is pretty great, actually. Like, just the whole, how they set it up is really unique. Uh, we also got, we can do the beginning of the end, which we just did. That's the one we just did, right? Yeah, 100%. So that only took 10 minutes. That doesn't have any jobs, right? Yeah, it's just, yeah, because that's just replay. We get, also, this game features, we can replay, we can, what's bonus movies? Uh, there's actually a bonus movie we can do too, but uh, basically this game has jobs and challenges we can redo and all that. So which is pretty big. The first and also there's a two-player mode. Like two, I'm not show that off because you know it's not really that important. It's like old. But anyway, let, let's go to the hazard room. It's actually the tutorial, which I don't know why they added a tutorial after that section of the game that we just did. I've rigged this place to push us to our limits. I'm guessing these levers start the different trainers. That's right. Each will initiate a streamlined crash course in grand larceny. I'll head for the control room, and we'll get things started. Dish it out. I'm ready. Yeah, I don't know why they have this tutorial. It's really weird. Okay, all great thieves have one thing in common. A ton of cash? No, they never get lost. I mean, to be fair, has a point. To look around the hazard room. Try to find the Cooper gang marker I projected. <laughs> I don't know why is this a thing. I found it right there. There you go. Now press down on the L3 button to ping a waypoint. That's handy. I agree. Lee's holographic markers are an invaluable tool for finding your way around in the field. Notice how the logo moves to the destination? Try clicking the L3 button a few more times to get the hang of it. Okay, head for the waypoint and we'll commence phase two. <laughs> Why is this the thing? A new mission destination. Press L3 to find it. The cool thing perfect. Now everyone knows that a thief's best friend is a rooftop. Provided he doesn't break his neck getting up there. Not a problem for a man with your jumping skills. Hit the X button for a standard jump. Then hit the X button a second time while in the air for an extra high double jump. <laughs> Why is this necessary? Like, we were played... I mean, I get it for newcomers, but still. As you know, it's very useful to survey guards from the rooftops. To do that, we'll have to be able to look down at them. Let me guess. Use the right analog stick? Yep. Yeah. Try to find the marker I'm projecting down there. Excellent. Now look up at that pillar. I'm projecting another marker. That's <laughs> why there, Bentley. Come on. Danny, there you go. Great. Now put all these skills to use and get to the remaining waypoints. Should be easy if you ping them with the L3 button and look around. This is kind of annoying. Oh, we don't have the paraglider, which sucks. But, like, it's really weird how, like, they have it like this. Man, I miss the paraglider so much. I love how in Slide 4 we can just automatically get it. Not automatically, but we can automatically buy it. And the first day in the game. Good job, Sly. You made it. You're now ready to take on the meanest of navigation tasks. Nice. Now, I'd... yeah, it's really annoying how this is. Not... This is... you had to do this. <laughs> Every time we play this game, that's the one thing I don't like about this game, though. Turner, that book. Let's see if you remember them all. Check out those small points on that wire. You can land on them light as 
a feather using your ninja spire jump. Easy. I just jump and hit the circle button. Exactly. Try getting over to the other platform. This is really easy, man. This is baby skills, my hero. This is baby skills. Look a good slide. You know how I love the second story work. Sure, but how do you feel about tight spaces? Try getting through the small opening in that wall. Hit the circle button when you're close to crawl inside. I mean, we beat an we beat, we beat Elo, that clock law in the last episode, so why do we even need this? <laughs> yeah, it's really weird how they have this in sight, the way. Nice job, Sly. You're a credit to the Cooper name. Is that? At least we just need to do that job, though. But yeah, that's really, that's really annoying. Well done in here. Let's head outside and get this operation underway. Yes, do it. I wish there was a way to like I skip this part, but I mean it's part it's part of the game. Yeah, you know what that means. Six, I mean it's been sixty minutes, but you know, pfft, let's do Opera of Fear. Start the episode. Let's do it. Getting inside a world class vault would take a team of world class thieves. A group of specialists, each member contributing their own particular talent. It was clear that we needed Murray back. Not only was I missing a lifelong friend, but his brute strength helped get us out of more than a few scrapes in the past. When Bentley was injured during the whole clockwork affair, Murray blamed himself, eventually leaving the team. We tried to console him, but going out on his own was something he needed to do. He said he wanted to find his spiritual center. We got word that Murray ended up in the Australian Outback, where he studied a mystic art called the Dream Time from an Aboriginal guru. From all accounts, things went pretty well, and his teacher even sent him on a walkabout to locations all over the globe to complete the training. Latest reports have cited Murray in beautiful Venice, Italy, but what he's doing there is a mystery. I just hope he steers clear of the local mob boss, Octavio. Growing up, this guy used to be a real celebrity in the neighborhood. Everyone loved to hear him sing opera and said he was destined to be the next great tenor. But just as his career started to take off, musical tastes changed. Suddenly, it was all about rock music and no one wanted to listen to opera anymore. He held on to a few fans, and it was these mobsters that took him into the business. Heading onto this guy's turf was dangerous, but worth it for a chance to make things right with Murray. Sly Cooper and the gang in? The art and opera of fear! <laughs> <laughs> oh, how did I like that with Opera Affair? But anyway, let's get, we're in Venice, Italy. Man, that's actually a cool place, would be a cool place to visit. Even though it does have some flooding problems. <laughs> Venice, Italy, 4.36 a.m. What Pacific? I don't know why I just laid the Pacific time out 4.36 a.m. I mean, it doesn't matter what time it is actually now, but you know. It's actually a lot earlier, earlier, in the, uh, earlier at night than that <laughs> here. I mean, it's nighttime right now when I'm recording this, like pretty late at night, but not like, not like that early or late, depending on what you count as early and late. <laughs> I mean, I guess it does count as early and late, what depends on person to person, but I mean, it's pretty late now, but it's not even, it's not even midnight yet, so think, it's not even midnight yet when I'm recording this. It's almost midnight, but not quite. And welcome back, this is the hideout. Like I said, the layout's basically the same, uh, just the execution of the beginning was different. Uh, let's, and we actually can buy a lot more stuff in Thiefnet. Well, not right now. We only can buy the, we can buy the long clock, which actually Bit, Bitly has. Not, uh, or the smoke bomb with Bit, we're sly, but it's interesting. Uh, we, also, this game does, this game is once we steal from people, we often get it automatically on us, which is really interesting. We actually don't sell it in at the Thiefnet thing. Given Murray's criminal past, it's Go look at this. to start our search at the local police station. If he's not you know, already in custody, the cops are sure to have leads on all the crooks in Venice. Uh, I'm actually gonna steal some stuff from guards real quick. Uh, definitely uh, try to get as much coins as I can. Uh, cause I know, uh, I don't know how many- Is there any guards around here? I want- I wanna try to get guards. 
Where, where are the flashlight cards at? Where are they? Where are they? Who the hell are they at? I don't know. Maybe, maybe we can't do it yet. Maybe, maybe we have to do the mission. Yeah, I don't see any guards around here. Oh, there's one right there. Oh boy, we can do this. Let's see if I can steal any guards. I wish we had the. Oh! No, 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 no. That guy had a gold dot. All that. So let's run. Let's try to chase this guy. Oh, that guard. That guard saw me. Sweet. Where did that guard go? Where did that guard go? Oh boy, he's up there. He's up there. To go wound up here. Huh. Where is it? Where is he at? Whoa. Ha! <laughs> nice. This 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 gold guy. Let's see. I'm sh I just go ah! Come on, get back here. God, God, come on. There you go. See, we got 50, 50 coins. See? On that. Oh, whatever. Screw it. Screw it. Ah! What the? What the hell? That's the ill mother. Uh, oh my god, that's really annoying. <laughs> Come on, keep bouncing on that. There you go. That was really annoying. That was actually really annoying. Okay, where's the mission now? Oh, over there. Ah, <laughs> that one saw me too. Screw, screw that. Screw that. Haha, <laughs> we bounced with the boat. Nice. Alright, now let's actually start the mission. This is the police police HQ. So I kinda got distracted by those guards. I wish there was more guards on Why isn't there many guards? Maybe I did the mission first, there may be more guards. That massive dome marks the Venetian police station. Cops around here really like to make an impression. I'm afraid it's a losing battle. Don Octavio runs the show in this neighborhood. It's his security forces patrolling the streets, not the cops. Noted. Huh. Looks like I found my way inside. Well, that dome is covered in glazed tile. There's no way to climb up there. Oh, come on, pal. There's always a way. Yeah, there's always a way. You don't, you don't, you don't say no to Sly. <laughs> you don't say no to Sly. Wee! <laughs> but now, now we can do this mission. I guess there's not that many guards out right now. Maybe we, had, we, we might have to do this mission and we don't have more guards. Because there was, I didn't see any flashlight guards. So that's, that's just an odd thing. But basically, we just climb up nice here. climbing, partner. I've got the blueprints to the vent system in front of me. I should be able to guide you to the jail cell. I think we've actually made an old, old enemy in here that we'll become friends with. Hey, Murray, is that you? Murray, that name's a stain on my pants, bro. What? It's the Richie! <laughs> Cooper, you got some fuzzy dice to come round here. Dimitri, long time no punch. See you're still in jail. And you're still a cracker box. Let's get past the name calling and get to business. Looking for me, man, Murray, eh? Sorry, but I'd rather see you get busted big time. God! Bolita! Wait. Wait! I think it's somebody I love this, they have this thing. We had to think we had to think. Can I threaten him, fire him, or cutting deal? I mean, I know what it is, cutting a deal, so let's do it. If those cops get their mitts on me, who's gonna break you out of jail? You might get this cell door open, but the cops would throw down and bust me on the way out, and then I'll get the double sentence. <laughs> Sleep! Yeah, it will be. Uh, we, let's see what the plan can be. We can disguise us both as police, then walk out. Just distract the cops so he can get away, or take him with me up the air <laughs> He would not fit up there. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I, was, I, I mean, I know which one it is. It's distracting the cops so you can get away. Cause I played this game so many times. But you know, let's let's just do the disguise us both as police and see what he says. Cause you know, you, you get different dialogue. But you know, I mean, there's always it's weird because there's always a choice that that it's always have to do. But I just want to spit it out. Tell you what, I'll steal a couple of police uniforms. We'll suit up and then just walk out the front door. Come on, man! I'm a fashion all star. No way, no how I'm dressing up in polyester pig suit. Some things worse than jail. <laughs> yeah, I do, I do that. I do the normal one. How about I get the cops' attention, then run for it. Once they're all outside shooting at me, you can slip out no problem. No, that's a plan I can get behind. Dimitri is free and Cooper is cooked. Key for sale is in handcuff, ladies' office. Okay, great. 
This other lock won't be a problem. I should be able to crack it by hand. Get me out of here, and I'll find Murray. No sweat. Just keep on the down low, and out of sight near them coppers, bro. They're a bad bunch of bunnies. Oh, I basically we had to... Please, I thank you for your patience, but we're now ready for the presentation. As we all know, the canals of Venice have been mysteriously filling with tar for the last month. Let's come later. No one is sure of the cause, but the effects have been devastating on the local wildlife. Where we go? Our sources believe that this man, Don Octavio, is potentially responsible Octavio. for the I'm gonna hate her voice in this game now. Call me the voice can be just the first three game, first two games. I mean, so turkey. Nice work. Head back to Dimitri's cell and free him. If he's true to his word, we'll be talking to Murray in no time. Let's get back to business. Now, where was I? Hold tight, boys. The power's on the fritz again. It'll calm down in a few minutes. Better make sure you're under a desk when the lights come back on. But yeah, basically we have to uh, make sure we're, uh, you know, hold on. definitely, yeah, definitely, because they can see us somehow if the lights comes on. Come on, there you go. We basically on. stay on the table so we can get us through this guy. Just like, come go over there. I mean, they give us plenty of time, but you can see they give us plenty of time. Just you have to would hurry. Walk better in the dark, Petro. Really, you are an <laughs> ugly, ugly man. <laughs> 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 All right, <laughs> that's an interesting thing to say. I'll definitely wait to see these. Like, I love how she has like bodyguards now. Like, like she. she yay! Nice. Come on, let's hurry. I looks like we made it. We did. It. We did it. Sweet. Now this part's interesting. Can you really crack this coconut? Sure. Just takes a light touch. Good. Let's see some shine, bro. I swear. You spring me, and I'll hook you up with that plump dog, Mary. Big. This safe will be tough to crack, but I've seen you open harder locks. Slowly rotate the left analog stick. Ah! So feel the vibration. Stop. Yeah, this part, go in the other this part can be tricky. Again, feeling for the vibration. Then a reverse direction again, and stop when you get the third Ah! Once the God, it's not working. Gone, let off the stick and you're in. God, why is it not doing it? It's not doing it. God, I guess we go too fast. If we go too fast, I'll make it slower. There you go, I think we got it. We did it! There you go. So yeah, it can be a little tricky doing it. <laughs> Do like I promised and distract the cops so you can make your escape. Sally, don't worry, no mind. Straightway our password for Murray to find you. Meet at Rialto Bridge, big Italian landmark. Okay, guess it's showtime. Showtime, baby! Hello, assorted meatheads and lady. Anyone feel like some exercise? Cooper? Grab him, man! And I'm out. Man, slip God, I, love, I do prefer Comedy's voice in Slide 1 and 2. I guess it's not as bad as I remember, but. I mean, it's still not great. This feels really weird. <laughs> You've got some serious nerve showing up in my squad room. I was concerned we were growing apart. Then let's spend some quality time together in my interrogation cell. So forward. What happened to the demure girl I used to know? She grew up and stopped taking grief from guys like you. Guys like me? Are you saying I've got some competition for your affections? You're the only man in my sights right now. Ah, nah, she didn't grow up. She went from, you know, a good voice to a teenager with, you know, awful <laughs> teenager. <laughs> No, she, I know she's not a teenager, but it's a joke because her voice is awful. <laughs> God. Yeah, I, I don't know why, but I mean, she's good at aiming. She's pretty good at aiming, though. Like, I mean, she's still. I mean, she's bad at aiming, but not as, like she, it's not as bad as she was in Slide One. So, 
Well, I mean, like I said, her name does improve as the series goes on. It's really interesting. I love how we're going toward her right there. Like, literally, this goes toward her. Like, look, I'm going toward her. <laughs> it's still bad at aiming. <laughs> That manual works both ways. That's right. Hide in the sewers like the rat you are. Thanks for the quick escape. I owe you one. Again. Of course, Searcher. We are all in need of peace. You're really whole hog on this Dreamtime stuff, huh? My mind is clear. Like the woodland after a forest fire. Listen, Marie, we need you back on the team. That thing with Bentley, it wasn't your fault. He doesn't blame you for the wheelchair. Sorry, Sly. I walk a different path. My guru, in his wisdom, told me to lose myself and not return until the black water ran pure. So here I stay. You sure he didn't tell you to get lost and not come back until you cleaned out the water filter? Come on! <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Jeez, Sly. I've missed you, pal. Well, it's a long and awesome story. You got any gum? Oh, <sighs> wow. I think it's a Sly Show time, though. So, yeah. Sly Show time! And I can't believe Columbus still has bad aim, even being still there. At the very end, where you show Murray and Sly just being still and still missing us. to get the old mobster put away. Of course, meanwhile, I'll monitor local communication frequencies. With some luck, we might pick up some quality intel. Man. Basically, we'll do that in the next episode. It's been a pretty long episode. It's been over 30 minutes now, so... I mean, also, it could have been a little shorter. What's this? Oh, yeah, the twinning? No, I don't want to do the twinning stuff yet. I mean, we can always do that in the next future and stuff like that. Can we play as... Yeah, we can even play as Mer... As, as uh, Bentley right now. But, we, but in, in the next episode... In the next episode, we'll do all that. What you said in the slideshow and everything. But yeah, that's the beginning of slide 3 on Among Thieves. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Anyway, I've been Green Cobras Gaming out. Bye-bye. Wah!